So it's 2022 and Alejandro Valverde is still racing. This boy, oh my, he has raced for so many years. I think he's been racing UCI races before I was actually born. Uh, yeah, he started doing UCI races in 1997. So this boy has been racing for years, but he's won another race in 2022. Now he won Trofeo Dandrax, um, which was one of the classic like Challenge Mallorca early seasons uh, races. So we're, we're going to go look at some numbers because... He may be 42, he may have got done for a doping suspension ages ago, but wow, oh wow, he has some good numbers. So, his threshold 384 at 63 years, I think that's probably right. I've seen him do about 400-ish for, for 20 minutes before, maybe a little bit more. Very strong. So, 300 normalized, probably not a crazy hard race for him at this time of year. Like, you know, that's almost like only maybe 75, 80% of threshold. So, for four hours, it isn't too hard. 4,000... Uh, kilojoules more or less so again a, a decent a decent work rate but you can see here this is the parkour quite hilly to begin with but finishes on about a four or five minute drag uh, well climb more than a drag there's some steep parts to it um so obviously i couldn't watch this race live because there was no footage so we'll just have to sort of speculate to exactly what happened but you can see the first part is pretty quick 47k an hour 250 normalized so you know nothing too crazy first climb run at five watts per kilo so not not too crazy again Second climb, again, run about 5 watts per kilo. Gets a little bit harder here. Um, gets up to like 5.7 for um, for 8 minutes, which is pretty quick. And you can see this part here is actually really quick. It's like 40k an hour over the top, but still good numbers. Um, so, you know, and again, like not a crazy hard day so far, but decent. Again, 8, 9 minutes at 5.7 watts per kilo. Um, 5 watts per kilo for 7 minutes. So, again, you know, there's it, every climb is slightly different. But you can see there's just a lot of up and down. It's not like... There is obviously one big peak, but it is just very lumpy all round. Like again, this one is like 5.6 watts per kilo. This is then when it gets a lot harder, 6 watts per kilo for 7 minutes. And this is getting, you know, towards the last hour of the race. So this is when, you know, they're definitely feeling a bit more tired. Um, you can see you've got the comm up, uh, the sort of combination of the climbs. This again, a little bit easier, 5.4, but we'll see the run into the finish. I think is actually like 20, well... It's uh, 270 normalized, but if we include sort of more of the, the downhill part, you can see it's like 290 normalized. It's, it's decent running, but nothing too crazy. So, so far, you're like, well, what's he going to whip out the bag? And he whips out seven watts per kilo for six minutes, which is, which is pretty good. Like, you know, you can't really lie, can you, that seven watts per kilo for six minutes is very strong at the end of a stage, especially when it's in January. I mean... Valverde, again, you know, he has four more year round, but even so, this is very strong for him. It's also not really very, um, like, it's quite spiky. So you can see the first part of the climb is, again, like 8%, so 22k an hour. Sitting in, you can see 6.5 watts per kilo. I believe Big Boy Eva Sosa did a big turn, but you can see towards the end, um, this last part is really where he made the difference. Three and a half minutes, um, 11% for one kilometre. 470 watts so we're now again seven and a half watts per kilo which is very very strong um especially at the end of the climb but also the way he does it you know he get, hits like nine or 800 watts at this acceleration to tr get um to narrow it down to brandon mcnulty um as well as vlasov i think who is the people he beat in the final sprint he's also saying matthews was still there or thereabouts and you can see the final sprint he did about uh, 860 watts for 13 seconds, but hit a peak of 964. But after that, is is very very strong. So Valverde looks like he still has it, which is always exciting. I'm, despite the controversy surrounding Valverde, I'm a big fan of him. I think he's a bit of a legend. I think he just, you know, he is what he is. He just turns up and he just bins people, and it is, it's quite exciting. So you can see his next race is the Volta alla Comunitat Valenciana, which he's won overall, I think, before. Um, quite a long time ago, but came second a couple of years back. Won a lot of stages. You can see most of his races are in um, are in Spain to begin with. There's some interesting races. I believe this one here um, is a gravel race. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, it's going to be good to see how he goes in his final season. Uh, but yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. I uh, should have some more videos out this week. Um, and we'll as there's many many races with Saudi Arabia starting tomorrow, and then Valenciana and Etoile de Passage starting on the second of February.